In this tutorial in Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018, we're going to show you how to take an object and break it up into a group of irregular pieces. This is often used in a video where you either assemble or disassemble an object. Here's a sample showing you how we're going to use the technique you're about to see where we break an object up on the screen. I could be doing this with a photograph, but in this case, I'm going to make my object text. So I'm going to click on the text tool in the lower left. And with that selected, I'm going to type in a couple of words where the first word will be price and we'll make the next word break. And I'll click on the check mark to finish that. We'll move it over to the middle. I'll right click on it and I'll click on edit layer style. We'll do a, a, we'll add a stroke, which is an outline. And then we'll add a bevel. And we'll change the degree to that a little bit, make it from the left lower left corner. Just something pretty simple. Now I'm going to take my crop tool and we're going to crop this irregular. There's no restrictions. And so this will be our new object. Our object simply consists of these two words in a small box. Click on the check mark again and we'll go to view and we'll make it fit on screen. So this is the object that we're going to break into pieces. It, like I said, it could just as well be a picture of some kind. So before I start editing this, I need to right click on it and click on simplify layer. Now I have a layer called price break. I'm going to duplicate this. Click on duplicate layer. It says price break copy. That's OK. And I will drag this one down below the other one. So I'm going to highlight price break. I'm going to turn the copy one off in visibility by clicking on the eye. But I'll take the price break one here and we're going to cut this into several pieces. When I have price break selected, the next step is to cut out the pieces that will assemble or disassemble when I get to a video. So what I need to do is click on the lasso tool on the left side, and then we'll, we'll pretend this is like breaking glass. It will break from the center. So I simply move my mouse somewhere near the middle and then make some jagged lines here and go around the perimeter and when I'm done let go and now I have a piece so I hold the control and shift key down together and hit the J key and that will create a new layer up here now to see the difference on the screen I need to be on that layer and click on the eye that will make it disappear and you can see the difference it's not visible in my price break it is visible now in layer one now the key thing you have to keep doing is click on the same layer that we're cutting things out of, which in this case is price break. So I'll take the second one and we'll, we'll take the lasso tool again, make sure we drag wherever we want, and we'll, we'll take another section out, control shift and the J key again, and that creates yet a second layer called layer two. We'll turn that off and we see it disappear. We have to get back to the same screen and uh, we go ahead and draw another one. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make sure you have the text here. Control Shift J. Okay, and then we make that invisible and go to this one. We'll do two more. We'll just make this one come out here and like this. Control Shift J. Make it invisible. Go back to price break and then we'll do the last one here. And we'll do our last control shift J. And make it invisible. Okay, so now I have this pieced out. Now my price break layer is totally empty. That's why I copied it because now I have one that is complete. And then I have the individual pieces. Now in order to create the files that I want to save, I I unlock one at a time. I'll unlock layer one and I'll click on file, save as, okay, and then let's, um, 
Let's go into the type of file. I'm going to choose a PNG with an invisible background. And I'll just call this PB1 for price break 1 and click Save. Now I've saved that. Now what I do is I hide that one, go to the next one, and go File, Save As, and we make sure it's a PNG again. And I'll go to call this PB2. And save it, and click on OK. And then we just repeat the process as we go through the rest of these. File, Save As, make sure it's a PNG, and we give it a title of PB3. OK. And so when you do this, and I also save a copy of the final one, so that what that would give you would be all these copies that you can move together into a video and assemble or disassemble any way you like. But it's a real nice way to break up an image uh, could be text like this that we've turned into an image, or it could be a picture, doesn't matter. And you can assemble or disassemble it uh, in whatever kinds of uh, software you might find this technique useful.